What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be walking through the Ala Moana shopping mall here in Honolulu, Hawaii. This is the largest open air shopping mall in the world and also the eighth largest shopping mall in the United States. I've been here already several times and it still impresses me. You can easily get lost in this shopping mall. They do have free parking available, but don't take that for granted because starting from 10.30 p.m. they can tow your car away. This shopping mall is owned by the Brookfield Properties Group. It opened in 1959. This is consistently ranked as one of the most successful shopping malls in the world with assets totaling $5.74 billion as of January 2018. It's the most valuable shopping mall in the United States anchored by Bloomingdale's, Macy's, Marshall's, Neiman Marcus, Nordstrom, Ross, Dress for Less, Saks Off Fifth, and Target. And this shopping mall has stores on the exterior before you get into the interior of the mall. And I think two food courts as well. This one we're going to be entering right now. It's called the uh, Mackay Market Food Court. And uh, I've eaten here several times. Cool, huh? I thought it would be a push door. They have a lot of options in this food court, including a uh, stall that sells Hawaiian local food, koi bowl. Hawaiian and local favorites, <laughs> poor boy. If you want Mexican food, you can get it at Senor Pepe. And a lot more options down that way. I'll just do a quick walk around and then head into the interior of the mall. Don't want to be standing here in the food court for the whole time. Chick-fil-A is really popular. Let's head up to the second floor. 
as you can see this is the open air shopping mall section A rather slow escalator. Once in a while, they'll have performances on the ground floor that you could see from the second floor. This clock is pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of Big Ben from London, although much smaller. Here's the stage on the ground level. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, big brand names here, like Louis Vuitton, there's Prada. Abercrombie and Fitch. I'll show you one wing of the shopping mall right here towards Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom. It's very easy to get lost in this shopping mall. And what I uh, don't really like about this mall is that there are not too many directories around that guide you to where you need to go. Hey, nice to see you. Wow, so cool. Okay. Got recognized at Ala Moana Shopping Mall. Balenciaga. I really love the decorations in this mall. See even a Tesla dealership inside the mall. <laughs> oh, here's a directory. Good luck reading off the uh, list of stores here though. I think it's easier to just go around and find what you need because there are certainly a lot of stores here. And the uh, fine print here is so tiny, like Spectrum. Good thing they have a UR here. We didn't even touch a little bit of that, of the shopping mall here. This is where we came up and we only walked to here. There's still 
all this back here, the third floor and the ground floor. Oh, there's a uh, directory here that you can open and use. So you don't have to go searching for one, just bring it with you. I may need it later. There's Old Navy. The Hermes store. Here's a polka dot pumpkin, the Ayoi Kusama design, 2016 in bronze. Wow, this is weighing more than 1,200 pounds. It's hard to believe. I really like this open air design. It really works for the small. Foodland Farms on the first floor, that's a grocery store. Looks like they closed off this section of the mall. Probably due to a safety concern, but I don't want to risk it. Uniqlo with some Hawaiian uh, designs. They even have some Aloha shirts. Let's go up to the third floor and we'll take a walk over to the Macy side of the mall. Uniqlo is two floors. That's new to me. So is Zara. And 
here you have a different experience on the top floor. I'm loving this glass roof, very stylish. I've been to this shopping mall when it's been a lot more busy too. This is only a fraction of the amount of people that I've seen here. There's a Lego store here. The stores in this mall actually stay open pretty late. It's a cute little store. <laughs> hey. Aloha Local Motion. Pups of War Jungle Adventure with a bubble machine. Honolulu Coffee Company. Oh, 
I don't know why they attempted to remove this barrier from the escalator. It's broken. Good thing there's stairs and also the elevator here. There's Neiman Marcus. Let's check out this fourth level. I wasn't even aware there was a fourth level here. Hokipa Terrace. restaurant Mama Pho and there's Jade Dynasty Seafood small koi pond Tanaka of Tokyo I've also seen them in Waikiki as well. The chef there is doing some entertainment at the table. Quite pricey to dine here. I'm telling you. California Pizza Kitchen behind me. Here you can get a nice view of Oahu. Parking lot downstairs. There's Waikiki in the background. That's the tourist hotspot of Oahu. I don't think I want to go down there. Let's head back to where we came from and check out where Macy's is. There's a Korean restaurant over there.
Lucky Strike sh uh, Social. Looks like an arcade. Looks like this area to my right is under construction. The ground level definitely has uh, more of the shops. Wow. And there's the Apple Store at Ala Moana. All right, everyone. I think I'm going to end my video here. Hope you got a nice overview of the largest outdoor open air shopping mall in the world, Ala Moana Shopping Center. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye everyone. Take care.